David Sampson won a World Series in that stadium as the Marlins president, and he joins us now. Uh, what an awesome scenario at the end there. It didn't go the, the way of the U.S. team. However, that pitcher and that hitter was a fun way to finish. Uh, in the end, what made Japan one run better? Well, let's start with the fact that it was like a bullpen game. In Japan's bullpen, while we may not have heard of many of their arms, they ended with Darvish and Otani, but the pitchers who pitched to start the game, they just are deep. Their hitters are deep and disciplined. They play fundamental baseball, and pitching wins. Now, the U.S. had good pitching, too. Japan only scored three runs, and they've been an offensive juggernaut through the course of this World Baseball Classic. This was just a good old-fashioned winner-take-all game that ended with Otani v. Trout, which was the dream of Major League mm. Baseball. When we thought of the World Baseball Classic so many years ago, who would have imagined, we did, that this could happen in Miami in a new ballpark? We prayed, and everything came together tonight in what will be remembered forever as one of the great games and end of games that we've seen in baseball, and maybe and likely the most watched game in the history of baseball. Did the best team win here, David, or do you consider this an upset? Well, I had Japan to win the World Baseball Classic before it started. This is their third World Baseball Classic victory, and, this, and it started in 06. So they are a team that has always been deep. They have always been good at the little things in baseball that help you win games. Just even the double play that you saw that's a tailor-made double play in the ninth inning, you've got to execute that under tremendous pressure. They were my favorite, and even going into today, the lineup for the USA is so good and so deep. Their pitching was not as good. But at the end of the day, in a one-game winner-take-all, anything can happen. And you saw a great game with Japan prevailing. David, let's, let's kind of zoom out from the emotion and the analysis of what happened in the final game. And think about the entire two weeks and go with that wide view right now. What's your top takeaway? What do you think that the baseball world's top takeaway is from the two-week event? Well, when we dreamt of the World Baseball Classic, it was to increase the exposure of baseball internationally. It was to make people love the game, not just in the U.S., but really around the world. And when you look at what happened, look at what Team Mexico did. Look at the fact that Czech Republic had a team of electricians and plumbers who qualified for the World Baseball Classic. Everything worked the way baseball wanted it to, to put baseball on a global stage. We call it the World Series, what you and I talk about in October. Mm. But at the end of the day, all the other countries in the world would call this the World Series. And if you ever want to be like the World Cup, you have to have a tournament like this, like baseball has. And you're only going to see it grow from here, as the commissioner said today in front of the media, when the World Baseball Classic returns in 2026. David Sampson, we appreciate your analysis of the game that took place tonight and also your insight on the entire classic and the entire tournament. So thank you very much. Opening day is coming right up. It's actually just a week from Thursday. So let's take the odds at who might win it all. The defending champions, the Astros, they're the favorites, followed by both New York teams and the Dodgers. And be sure to check out David Sampson's podcast, Nothing Personal with David Sampson. You'll get a unique front office perspective into all things sports and all the biggest stories that you need to know. You can also watch episodes on YouTube. Nothing Personal with David Sampson. Download and subscribe today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.